So there were already national parks in 1915. Theodore Roosevelt had named certain areas national parks, but the problem was that every national park was an entity unto itself. And so there was no consistency across the parks. Um, some of them were administered by the US Army. Some of them allowed logging and hunting in the national parks. And environmentalists in particular began to be really concerned that the whole concept behind national parks was being lost, that they weren't, there were not consistent decisions being made nationally. And so they began trying to lobby for a national park service organization that would provide a consistent vision across all of the national parks. 